Hi. You don't mean that. You don't mean that. <laughs> the story behind the rescue is a sad one. Her owner fell very ill. After learning more about the story and her situation, uh, we decided that when the timing was right, I said that we would take the dog so that she could rest easy. So her son is driving the dog from out of state. Can you guys rent this just to... Yes. That's so sweet of you. Holy crap, she is huge. Yeah. Let me also oh, Rosie. It's okay. okay. Oh, my lovey. She has had a long time. She's had a lot of changes. She's like, you know what? Oh, she's smelling you good, yeah, girl. Good. She's sniffing us right now. She's a good girl. She's like, you know what? It's not bad. Rosie. She Rosie. said, you know my name. I think she knows something's going on. Oh, she definitely knows something's going on. Well, it is. Let's bring her out one more time. Yeah, for sure. And this time when you bring her out, uh, let's close the door. Yeah. You're just a big dog. Oh, yeah, we don't have stairs. Collar might slip off. It's not on. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. I'm going to change hands. I'm just going to walk a little. She's like, hey, I'm being a dog. How old is she? Um, she's six. Six. Yeah, she just turned six. She's a sweet girl. Good girl. Oh, she's happy. There she is. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I do not want to wait. All right, guys, they're leaving now. I got Rosie back here. You know, it wasn't love at first sight for her, <laughs> but love at first sight for me. But I know she's gonna be a great dog, very loyal dog. Okay, guys, we're just getting back to the house. I'm gonna let her settle in, get her checked out by the vet, and uh, make sure she's doing well and not sick, although she was seen by the vet right before she got here. We don't need a leash. We don't need a leash, my love. See, no leash needed. Come on. Thank you. Hey guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day out here with my baby. She was a little bit nervous when we first met. <laughs> there she is. It's okay. But she's wonderful. I think I'm gonna name her Mia. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, she's so great. So as you saw when I first met her, she was growling a lot and showing her teeth, which is just normal, that's just fear. That does not mean that they're aggressive or anything like that. You just got to respect their boundaries and build some trust. Mamma mia, so beautiful. Now we got to put her on a little diet, give her some exercise. And she should, uh, she should lose weight rather quickly because she's very overweight. <laughs> she's very thick. So she definitely got a lot of treats. And she's really wonderful. I, I don't even need her on the leash, really. I just... I'm just out with the farm animals, so just to be safe, I have her. But she's really just... Honestly, she's perfect. And it's just been a few hours after, after rescuing her. Mia, I'm not saying there's a big resemblance, but I'm also not going to say that there's not a big resemblance. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to tell you, we got our cows. Our cows came over. So now it's time to rescue more cows. I bottle fed them when they were just babies. Right before they were going to be sold. I was able to get them. 
See you guys.